Hello again everybody, um, this is I believe our fourth part of the tutorial how to work with the uh, uh, photo editor again developed by uh, MacGyver available to download from the Google Play Market um, today um, let's open a, uh, let's choose a photo from the gallery um, this is a, a regular photo, actually it's a snapshot uh, while I was sitting in my car a pretty uh, ugly uh, everyday photo uh, from my car uh, let's do some basic thing just to make a kind of reversal uh, I'm going to the effect at the bottom uh, first of all let's go to the auto contrast just to, to make it a little bit more contrast uh, then we apply it um, let's go back to the effect mm, auto tune apply it mm, and you know what let's make it just for the interest black and white I, I'm going into the effect in the bottom menu uh let's keep it let's keep it sepia okay um what i'm wa what i would like to show you today is how to work with uh, uh two nice uh, tools um just apply the filter the sepia filter okay here is our photo um at the bottom menu if you scroll to the left you will find uh, the crop uh, free tool which allow you uh, as we have already seen to crop the, the photo uh, to any um, crop size and shape that we uh, would like but what happens if you want to crop it into a square format just to share it with Instagram you can actually uh, do it by the crop free but I'm not sure that you know exactly uh, the dimensions and more important the ratio of the square so this is kind of square and this is also a square and even this is you can consider a square but it's not a real square so what you could do is just go to the bottom menu uh, scroll to the left it's not a tool that I'm using a lot that's why uh, I left it uh, at, the, at the end of the menu uh, okay, and here is another crop unlike the first crop which is crop free this is uh, a crop with the built-in uh, uh, presets or templates and um, here is a ratio of 1 to 1 1 to 1 give you exactly a square format as uh, it should be if you want to upload it to Instagram now if you want to uh, place uh, the photo exactly in the uh, this square just do it you can uh, move it down and top okay let's keep it uh, cropped and now we have a, a square format okay um, let's start with the uh, uh, rotation and uh, straighten tool right here at the, the bottom uh, let me just enlarge the photo a little bit okay I'm just pinching the uh, the screen and I can en enlarge and reduce the the image um, look at the, at the electric pole it's a little bit uh, tilt or shift whatever you say it uh, and I would like just to uh, straighten it up I can always go and just rotate the photo right here we can be uh, we can use the gr the grid grid line uh, uh, actually to use it into straighten but one once I uh, apply the filter uh, the photo actually uh, rotated and remain in the rotation position so now you will have to crop it again into a square unless you want to leave the uh, the black uh, area around it so what you could do uh, is use the straighten tool uh, instead of right here instead of rotation click on the straighten and 
let's enlarge it a little bit again oh I cannot enlarge it right now okay anyway look here at the at the pole and just grab the um, how do you call it I don't know slider uh, and use it to do your best straightening okay again I'm using the uh, the grid lines hopefully you can see it it's too uh, bright uh, the photo but there are grid lines and now once you uh, apply the filter the photo was actually rotated but more important straightened and it it, it cuts into a, a square format uh, okay so this is the rotation and straighten uh, tool now uh, at the bottom there is another nice uh, tool right here the clone tool clone means that you can copy uh, one area uh, of the photo uh, into uh, another area of the same photo for example if I enlarge oops let's get back from this tool let me enlarge the picture and go to the pole in the background right here uh, it's nice but I would like to uh, um, erase it so there are many ways to erase it we can uh, go into the drawing and pick the same color and just brush it out but also what you could do is again go to the clone tool at the bottom uh, choose the amount of the hardness that you wish and also the size of the, uh, the brush place the, uh, the circle at the area that you want to clone to copy and now just touch the pole or whatever you'd like actually to uh, this uh, uh, sample we want to erase it but actually what I'm doing I'm cloning I'm copying this area this area of the photo into this area and now once we apply it we actually erased or deleted uh, the background uh, pole um, of course there are many uh, uh, useful things that you could do with the clone uh, rather than uh, erasing an uh, electric pole but this is just to show you how you can uh, work with it um, okay let's uh, save it right here and this time I'm going to overwrite uh, the original photo you will get a warning do you really want to overwrite the original image? If, th if the save fails, the original image may be damaged. It doesn't happen uh, regularly that the save uh, process is failed, but if it happens, so it might be related to the original photo, so just try to do it again. And let's click on the overwrite. Okay, and if... We'll go back to my uh, quick pick gallery. and let's go to the uh, photo editor folder there's only one photo here it was the original photo but once we have uh, cropped it and erased the pole this is the photo that uh, we've been working um, okay that's uh, all for today hope you uh, learned something from these tutorials if you have any questions don't hesitate uh, to email me um you can find the uh, email at the description right uh, above this uh, tutorial uh, and if i'm uh, not mistaken no my email is not here anyway nitzi n i t z i at uh, one zero uh, sorry zero one three dot uh, net dot il okay take care bye bye